can you talk to us about you know what water activity is and kind of the overall goal of it and so on and so forth? Yeah, so you know, drying is the first thing that comes to mind is like you said, water activity for the point of not spoiling. So we're getting the water out just like we would any other foods, raisins, whatever it may be, um, getting it down low enough to where um, it does not support proliferation of microbes. Um, now, drying does not kill microbes. Um, there's lots of spores and bacteria that are super hardy, um, and we can dry it down to a crisp, and those spores are still going to be there. So once it's rehydrated, they could take over. Um, but the point is to get that water activity low enough to, to not support other life growing on it. Um, and that's really the difference between water activity and moisture content. You know, they're, they're very related, but the difference there is um, available water for microbes to, to uh, persist in. So the goal, correct me if I'm wrong, is 0.6 water activity, and that prohibits the growth of moles and yeasts and so on and so forth? Yes. Yep. That is today's goal. Okay. Now, are there any tools that growers can purchase in order to measure water activity? Yeah, uh, moisture content meters are pretty inexpensive, but they are also very damaging. Um, to get a proper reading, you almost have to take a full bud and, you know, uh, squeeze it as tight as you can and then stick the prongs in. Um, but again, then you're ruining a bud, um, and that's not a great thing. Um, the other thing, which is, you know, it's got its drawbacks too, is a water activity meter. Um, and they can be quite pricey, $1,000 on up, you know, $10,000 for a really high-end one. Um, so those aren't my preference either, um, at least in the home grower space. You know, the, it, it's overkill. Um, one thing I like to do is you know, put your plants in the drying room, bring it down to where you think it's just about right, and if you debud your flowers, put it in a jar, and then have a humidistat in the jar, once once you see the humidity level stabilize, that is your uh, water activity. So your humidity then turns into the uh, water activity. I mean, you got to move the decimal two points, but um, ultimately it's the same. So if you have a jar, put a few buds in there, and it reads 70% humidity after it's leveled, because um, there'll be a, a time of fluctuation. Uh, for the moisture to homogenize throughout. But once you get to that homogenized state, if it reads 70%, let's say, then you're at a 0.7 water activity. And you, you might want to keep the lid open for a couple of days or that sort of thing. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrowAt15 to save on any of their products.